Bottom one, Ken Griffey Jr., one on, one out. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Two run shot, 40 seconds to tie Palmero for the AL lead. A Rod also homered, 11th time this year, Jr. and A Rod have homered on the same day. Speaking of A Rod, bottom five, M's up 5 4. Rodriguez sends it to shallow left. Troy O'Leary, nice sliding catch, gets up, fires to the plate. David Bell comes across to score, so he thinks. Jason Veritek tags him out to end the inning. Third base coach Steve Smith has issues with home ump Dale Scott. But take another look. Bell actually steps on Veritek's foot, never touches home plate. Veritek, great block, great call. Top eight, Sox down 6 4, Veritek. Aye, Papi, I did not know you could do it like that. Three-run jack, second of the game before these two jacks. Veritek had gone 118 at-bats without a homer. Linda Jason also passed her own Harold Reynolds on the all right to stay a game back of Boston in the wild card race. Top three, two zip Detroit. Big tall brother, six, seven, one, and hit you. Tony Clark takes Jimmy Haynes deep, two-run shot. 25th of the year. T. Clark also 83 RBI this year for zip Detroit. But Ben Greve facing Todd Jones and Greve to first where Clark, my bad, he bobbled it and then threw it away. Two errors on one play for Clark. Ten for the year. A's down 5-4. Bottom nine. Got him. Becker down. Rich Becker goes down. Todd Jones struck him out. Detroit wins it 5-4. 2-1. Two out, two on. Joe Vidiello doing work. Deep shot to left center. Over Shannon Stewart's head. Dermal Brown scores. Joe Randa scores. Vidiello, his first double of the year. He's sitting right at the Mendoza line. 200. KC takes a 3-2 lead. Next batter, Sal Fasano, hitting even worse, 182, but he's bringing a wood liner up the middle. Vidiello comes around to score. Catcher Mike Matheny can't fill the ball. Vidiello barrels into him. And after the game, the Chiefs made Vidiello their starting free safety. Royals win the game 6-3. The Royals' Ray Holbert had a career-high four hits. Top two, two outs, bases loaded, tied at one, Bill Miller. Cues one to first, Kevin Young, sliding stop, throws to Chris Peters at first, Pirates close out the second inning. Bottom seven, Pirates 6-4 lead, Brian Giles, peace. Takes Allen Embry out. Giles, 35th of the season, at a four RBI game, Pirates win it 8-4. Joe Oliver hit his first home run in nearly a year. Last time, big unit faced Atlanta in June. He gave up career-high four homers. Different story here. A hey, big unit was blowing up. You want to know why he tied Sandy Koufax's one-year NL record of 21 double-digit K games? Why he averages 12.3 Ks per nine innings? Because he sat down Brett Boone, Andrew Jones, Jose Hernandez, and Eddie Perez. 13 Ks, says Johnson. Wins are hard to get, not strikeouts. Except when you face Chipper Jones. I'm feeling you, Chipper. Second homer of the game. Chipper also tied an NL record by getting walked in 16 straight games. Bottom seven, D-backs up 4-3. Gerald Williams representing to the left field wall. Otis Nixon, Howard Battle score. Gerald, two doubles in the game. 19 doubles for the year. Braves take the lead, 5-4. And check this out, top nine, two outs. John Rocker strikes out Kelly Stinnett, but the ball in the dirt. Eddie Perez throws it away at first. Perez, who said later that was the worst game I ever played, overthrows Randall Simon. Stinnett advances to second. Huge error on Perez. The game would have been over. Stinnett, who's a catcher, said you always run. It can be a tough play for a catcher. There isn't a catcher that hasn't thrown it away. Then with pinch runner Dante Powell in second, Tony Womack bigs up. Powell rounds third. Slides in a hole. Perez can't handle the throw. D-backs 12 for 26 with men in scoring in position. Two batters later, Luis Gonzalez. Mira. Mira. The guy who's hitting 343 went two for five in the game. Springs in Jay Bell. Diamondbacks come back to win a wild one. Seven to five. Womack also scored in that Luis Gonzalez hit. Unbelievable game. Matt Manti struck out the side in the ninth for the second straight game to earn his 27th save and 31 chances. Braves lose just their third game in 16 games. Big unit now, 328 Ks, five scheduled starts left, 55 strikeouts shy of Nolan Ryan's single season record. As for the way the Braves lost, wild. It's one of those things that you don't believe. And I think this is my worst game ever. You got two, three struck out, and sometimes when you, you don't do too much at the bat, you try to do the best uh, catching, and, and I guess I don't do any of those jobs today. I thought we played one unbelievable ball game, and then we took something for friggin' granted, and we got our speed. Daryl Cow, bases loaded. D. Hamilton straight off the meat rack. Eighth homer of the year. Grand slam. Mets came in, hitting the league best 344 at the bases loaded. Hamilton acquired from Colorado July 31st. Said, seems like every team we play is one of my former teams. Top eight, John Franco, fresh off the DL, facing Todd Helton. 
and Peyton Manning's former backup quarterback at Tennessee grounds to Olaru who flips to Franco representing Queens he was raised in Brooklyn Franco gets his 19th save Mets wins Yankees are right on their heels for the best record in the American League now just a game back the Indians looking to maintain that edge at Baltimore going against the Orioles and that's Omar Vizquel just getting a little trim in between innings there top of the second tied at two two outs Dave Roberts singles off of Sidney Ponson Albert Bell defense for Albert Bell throws him out at the plate Inio Diaz toast at the dish. Score remains tied. Now Manny Ramirez. Oh, he's going way deep off of Ponson. This is a two-run bomb. He's jamming. Yes, he is. Ramirez off the foul pole for his 38th of the year. Then Jim Tomey goes deep off of Ponson again, his 28th of the year. Oh, look at that ball. Anything that flies that far, I'd have a meal and a movie on it. Indians go on to win this one. The third mole ball. He's got his eyes on Chuck Knobloch's foul pop. But what's this? Dad reaching over and interfering with it? First base up. Calls him out. And Daddy is escorted out by security. What about the little guy? You leave him behind? You gotta be kidding me. Top of the 6-7-2 Yanks. Daryl Strawberry. Oh, that's a bomb off of Al Levine. Daryl's first home run of the year. He's 39th as a Yankee to match his own number on his uni. 8-2 Yankees. He's also doubled in this game. Meanwhile, our family is back together. But they were punished with bad seats. 8-3 <laughs> the final. Strawberry now batting 500 with six walks and two on, two out. Rondell White, Scott Ellerton, White, the grounded. Oh, what a Spires. stop by Bill Spires. And he knows how to finish. Astros get out of the inning. Top of the seventh now, Craig Biggio facing Anthony Telford with a man on second. Biggio shaking off a one from 15 slump, laces the single. Ricky Gutierrez is hustling him from second, and he would score the go-ahead run. And the Astros go on to win as Biggio goes two for four with two runs scored and an RBI as the Astros win for the fourth time in their last. Sosa always poised. Top of the fourth, scoreless one on John Lieber facing Gary Sheffield, the liner. Sosa charging. Sammy two for four at the plate, no home runs, but one gun. That's a double play. Top of the fifth tied at one after Adrian Beltre intentionally walked to load the bases. Darren Dryford at the plate. Dryford who hit 327 as a DH for Wichita State. Doubles. Todd Huntley, Raul Mondesi coming to score. Dryford's double gives the Dodgers a 3-1 lead. 4-1 in the eighth. Sheffield, the Rocket. Cole Liniak, the diving grab. Good deep by the Cubs. Not bad for Chicago since they have lead in this game. Not anymore. Top of the tenth. Men on first and third. No outs. Adam Kennedy. Just a player picking his spots. Jeremy Burnett's the throw. Coming home is Langford. Not in time to get Ray Langford. Kennedy, a career-high four hits along with three RBIs. The Cardinals win 13-9. Move over, Adam. You got some room in the hero department. Craig Paquette, three for five with four RBIs. One and a Tied at one in the fifth. Padre pitcher here laying down the sacrifice. Vladimir Nunez throwing to Chris Klepinski, but he can't handle it. So Ben Davis is in to score. The error charged. It's 2-1 Padres. Bottom of the ninth. They're up 5-2, and they go to Trevor to close it out. His 35th save of the year as the Padres beat the Marlins 5-2. Tony Gwynn. Big Shea and the gambler, Kenny Rogers, focused on the batter, Barry Bonds, gets him with the high heat. One, two, three inning for Rogers in the first. Top of the third, still scoreless. F.P. Santangelo. Ground ball up the middle. Rogers showing he can field the position. The flip, and John Olerud helps him out. Rogers retired 17 for the first 18 he faced. Warming up before the bottom of the third, Levon Hernandez, some tightness in his side. He'd have to leave. Mark Gardner would replace him. Top of the fourth, Barry Bonds caught looking at a Kenny Rogers fastball. Bottom of the seventh, one nothing New York. Two out, second and third for Ricky Henderson. And Ricky loops one in the center. Apulian Tavares. Daryl Hamilton and Ray Ordonez come around to score three zip New York. Top nine. Rogers going for the complete game shutout. Gets Bonds swinging again. Third time he gets Bonds on the day. Nine strikeouts for Rogers. Two outs in the ninth. Rogers facing Ellis Burks. Liner to Robin Ventura to end it. Rogers, the Mets' first complete game shutout of the year. And the Mets do win in shutout fashion. But he had won 11 of his pre previous 12 decisions. Monday found himself on third base with Chipper at the plate and two down. Ground ball is second. Jones hustling, beats Adam Kennedy's throw to first, and Maddox scores, takes a 2-1 lead. Top of the sixth. Maddox against Big Mac gets him looking. McGuire perplexed. He was 0 for 3 at this point in the game. Top of the seventh. There's Ray Langford at the plate. And Maddox gets him. Wasn't the first time. How about three times in the game? Maddox on Langford. 
Bottom of the seventh, Chipper drills the shot up and out. 38th of the season for him. He's got three in the last two games. Braves have a 4 1 lead. Top nine. Big Mac at the plate with two down. McGuire grounds the third. That's where Chipper's hanging out. And McGuire goes 0 for 4. 93 pitches, a complete game for Greg Maddox. Merker facing David Bell, and Bell tries to check his swing, thinks it's ball four, but the first base umpire, Travis Katzenmeyer, calls him out, and here comes Lou Katzenboyer, no relation to Andy, not even pronounced the same way except for me, ejected for arguing balls and strikes. Top of the sixth, the 1-1 game runner on first, Butch Husky. What a pickup he has been off John Halama. Mike Stanley showing off the big wheels. 2-1 Red Sox. Bottom seven, 3-2 Boston. Rod Beck facing Edgar Martinez, two on and two out, and he gets him. Red Sox win, 3-2. Jason Varitek, three homers in his last two games. Nomar finishes the series, and Brandy Chastain throwing out the first pitch tonight. No shirt references, please. Bottom of the third, tied at three. Jeff Weaver against Jason Giambi, and get out of town. He means it, because he did it twice. Second of the game, 28th of the year, 4-3 Oakland. Your next batter is Matt Stairs. And Stairs, the rip job, back-to-back -back jacks. 33 for Stairs, and the swing and A's are up 5-3. Top nine. It's like eight, seven Tigers. Doug Jones Clark's against Tony Clark. To right field, and Clark gets a bomb of his own. The teams uh, would combine for, for seven Clark. home runs. And that Oakland fan thinking he's at Wrigley throwing back the Tigers home. Back to baseball. The Yankees and the Angels. Bottom of the first. Roger Clemens already walked two. Well, he wished he would have walked Troy Glaus. Get out of town off Rocket is 25th. Three nothing Halos. Bottom of the fifth. Here's Clemens facing his former teammate, Mo Vaughn. And right in the head, Mo would be okay. Clemens lasts four and two-thirds, allows five runs, and that rather large HBP against Mo. Angel Already done, went five innings, but the Astros down 4-3 in the sixth. Russ Johnson pitch hitting for Lima, and good pitch hitting move. Russ Johnson rocks that on Randy Wolf. Three-run home run, 6-4. Astros take the lead. Lima says we call him Stumpy Ice Cube because he's the man. What that means, I don't know. Bottom of the eighth, 6-5 Strohs. Jay Powell facing Doug Glanville. Glanville rocks that to right. Derek Bell some remodeling out there. Glanville coming around at third. Greg Vigio with the relay. We've got a play to third. Just got on the tag from Ken Caminiti. Bottom of the ninth, Billy Wagner. He struck him out. Mike Lieberthal. 34 saves, 37 chances for Wagner. Strohs get the comeback. Jose Lima, 19 wins. He leads the down 3-2. Two. two on for Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn, power hitter. Puts that out on Todd Ritchie. Second home run in the last couple of days. And win ninth of the year. 3,034 hits. He's 19 away from Rod Carew. For the third, Albert Bell. Two men on. Scoreless game against Dave Berber. Getting a good piece of that. Albert rips that out as 31st of the year. He'd later hit a solo shot. Two for three. Four RBI. It's 3 nothing Orioles there. Top of the eighth. Indians up 4-3. Bases loaded. Rookie Alex Ramirez. He's running right off the contact there. That's going to the gap. One run will score. Two runs will score. Three runs will score. Ramirez two for four. Five RBI. Indians pad their lead to 7-3. They'd need every run. Bottom of the ninth. Those coming back at 7-6. Two on against Mike Jackson. Uh, it's not where you want it. B.J. Surhoff to Alomar and Omar. It's over. Mike Jackson. 35 saves and 38 chances. Tribe has won seven of eight. One zip base loaded for Todd Zeal. Zeal Get out of town, and I mean it. A grand slam for Zeal. Seventh of his career. Five zip Rangers in the game. Zeal's 21st home run of the season. Top of the eighth. White Sox trailing 8 6. Pitch gets away from Pudge. Maglio Ordonez takes off for second, and Rodriguez nails him anyway to end the inning. Top nine. Still down by two. Pinch hitter Frank Thomas. And John Wetland strikes out Thomas on the check swing. For the second out of the inning, Wetland would go on to pick up his 30th top of the third. Paul Konerko up with the White Sox, up 1-0. Konerko lines the Jeff Passero pitch. Royce Clayton makes the catch. <laughs> so would that put a charge into the Rangers' bottom of the third? Same score, two on for Rusty Greer off John Snyder. And up and out, three-run bomb, 19th of the year for Rusty. And the Ranger fans enjoy the doubleheader sweep by Texas. They take game two. Twins and Devil Rays, meantime. Fast Denny Hawking facing field. Norm Charlton on the ball. putting that shot. Dave Martinez, no. Two runs would score later on in the inning. 
Bottom of the seventh, one on. Twins leading 13 to seven. Now Herbert Perry with this shot. Jock Jones running hard. Unbelievable catch. And then coming back over, Terrell Lowry's gonna come all the way back around to first. They get the double play. Sensational play, and to put it in perspective here, the Twins as a team hitting 372.